Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in Bilvavi Mishkan Evne as we explore this understanding of just how much we have to have our minds makusha connected and fused with this belief and this amuna and this awareness of the Bari Eilam that HaKadosh Baruch is the master of the universe. And he says like this, Yesh Chachma Bina Vedas. There are three types of intellectual pursuits that a person is going to have. Chachma, wisdom, bina, understanding, das, knowledge. Chachma, what is chachma, what is wisdom? It's the yidia, it is the knowledge of things, the way that they are written and the way that they are expressed. It's the opening up a safer and reading what it says inside of there and knowing that what it says. It's going to a shir, going to a class, and hearing the lecture, hearing the drasha, and understanding to an extent what that means. You get the information as it is. Bina, what does it mean, understanding? Hi havanas hadvar meitiv, that is a deeper understanding of what you have just learned. So you take the chachma, you take the wisdom that you acquire, and then you delve deeper into it, that's called Bina, where you maven davar mitaych davar, you understand the thing within the thing itself. Das, what is Das, that will loosely translate as knowledge? He is kashus the davar. It's the connection that you have to this knowledge that you have gained. Seichel kulay mechubar the davar. When your seichel, when your mind is completely mechubar, completely connected with this thing that you are learning. Like it says in the Pasuk, Ubedas Chadorim Yimo Alon. In the Chadorim, in the private chambers, Das fills them up. Klaima, what does that mean? Chadre Lavavo Shel Adam. The inner recesses of a person's heart, Meleim B'Yediya Hazu, are filled with this Yediya, with this knowledge. He's completely given over to this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding that he has learned. This is what is called complete and total das, the complete knowledge that a person has. When you have the chachma, you learned the basic wisdom, and then you went into the bina, where you understand the thing within the thing itself in a much deeper way. Now you're miskasha, you connect yourself to that wisdom that you have gained, and it fills up your heart. It's, it's permeating the recesses of your heart. That is called das shleimo ugemora, complete knowledge that you have attained right now of this particular piece of information. Davashadam yedeya oisai, something that a person knows. Ulam zela makiv es you learn something, you know something, you understand something. However, it doesn't encompass all of your heart and all of your machshavis, all of your thoughts. It's not something that you're living with on a constant basis. It's, it's a yediyah. It is information that you have gained and acquired. But it's not formulating the way in which you think and the way in which you live and you, the way that you run and conduct your life. Zudas, chalakis, this is like partial information, partial knowledge. You don't have it all. It's just, you've got it. You can write it down in a book. You can have probably an intellectual conversation about this idea. And people will be impressed by, wow, he knows so much. But it's not in the kishkes. It's not in who you are as a person. And it's not making you into someone greater as a result. Das shleimahi. However, complete das, complete knowledge, rak kasha adam mekushar, it's only when a person is mekushar, they are connected. Umedubak, and they are, and they are uh, cl- clinging, so to speak, miyidiyasai, to this piece of knowledge, becholeis all the time, ubechol shah, every hour, bechol nimei nafsha levava, with every fiber of his nefesh, of his soul, and his levavai and his heart. Says the the the, Vavi Mishkanevna, the way in which a person is truly going to acquire wisdom 
and truly get into that inner world of Das is when it's something that is permeating your inner recesses of your heart and your soul and every living fiber that you have is, is immersed and absorbed in this knowledge, then it's going to be what we call Das Shlema, complete Das. And we'll see what that has to do with this pursuit of knowledge of the Rebbeinu Sha'ilam. Have a wonderful day.